following the known assets of Adolf Hitler to determine where he could have gone after World War II. Look at these photographs. They review the findings from Salto Suizo Paraguay, where declassified files and an eyewitness report led the team to a potential hideout for Hitler deep in the jungle. Look at this compound we found in Paraguay. I mean, that place is defensible. There's just simply no way you're going to get in there and surprise anybody. We've got completely controlled access. We've got cliffs on all sides. There's only one road in. And it's blocked off by this guardhouse. I mean, most people do not build guardhouses around their compound. This compound clearly fits all the parameters that we were looking for. Yes, all of these things would serve somebody like Adolf Hitler. And he could spend years living in this house and in this compound, and no one would know the better. The problem is the Nazis are not running operations out in the middle of nowhere. This place is too small, too provincial. If you're building the Fourth Reich, you need access to personnel, communications, and transportation to actually run operations with money, and the rest of it's got to be somewhere else. Right. Latin America was parceled out among various agents. Walter Ralph was assigned Chile and Joseph Mengele, Paraguay. This is crucial because there's an organization here. There's a structure. They've divided up South America. Trusted SS officers that know what they're doing, and they're in South America not hiding and organizing. Walter Ralph in Chile and Joseph Mengele in Paraguay, they've divided up the Fourth Reich in South America. Walter Ralph, SS officer, designed mobile gas chambers responsible for the death of 100,000 people during the Holocaust. His whole life was about making murder efficient. Walter Ralph was connected with Colonia Dignidad. Colonia Dignidad is a secretive place in the middle of nowhere, Chile. It's not a question. If Nazis were there, it's what were they doing there? This is major. This is like a country within a country where they can do anything they want. At Colonia Dignidad, you've got security tunnels and bunkers, reinforced communications equipment. It's a big military camp. Ralph is clearly a major player in the Fourth Reich. If he's the Nazi in charge of Chile, what else was he doing we don't know about? If we can figure out what Ralph was up to, we're going to get to the beating heart of the Fourth 